Hey guys, so today is going to be a spray glazing video. These are two of the five toilets that I just made. And uh, this is the little, my little spray glaze table, basically just my art table that uh, I've got set up with turntables here so that I can uh, turn these toilets as I spray them. That makes it really easy. And then I've got the tanks back to back. Uh, I actually saw in a, a video where they were spraying full-size human toilets and I was like, hey, that's a great idea. So I figured I would set it up the same way and uh, got my spray gun here and hooked up to the uh, air tubing and uh, the compressor's inside and I turned it off so that if it comes on during the video, it won't be really loud and disruptive. So I just put it on the back of this chair. It, it, Nice little place to hook it on there. So, and the ladybugs are everywhere. I'm really hoping the ladybugs aren't going to want to land on these after I spray them. But, uh, and this is just, uh, the art table has, uh, I just taped paper over it just so that when the spray glazing is done, I can just pull it off and wrap the paper up and throw it away uh, just to sort of protect the table. So, man, I got ladybugs all over me. All right. So, the uh, compressor is full, and here's the, you just got the little lever here, and I don't know if you can see, but it's, you can see the level of glaze in there, and this is just the uh, white gloss, and so what I usually do is just, you know, I'll start with maybe like up on the top with the rim section and just sort of angle down the side. So something like this. And then come to this side or turn it uh, my turning hand is occupied right now, so I'm going to have to just sort of rotate the camera around. It's actually fairly hard to tell where the, uh, the glaze goes on with the white glaze just because uh, the toilets themselves, the clay is white, but if you do um, black glaze or some of the other colors, it's uh, another ladybug. Uh, really easy to tell. So that's, uh, you can really get a nice, even finish easier with the, uh, the colored glazes. Let's see. Try to go at different angles too to get into some of these crevices back where the uh, trapway is. You got to be careful too not to go too thick with it because then it'll uh, it'll goop up and get and drip, which you can uh, scrape off or sand down or take a wet sponge, but it's just uh, just more of a pain in the butt if uh, if you do that. It's just better to be uh, cautious and careful with how you're spraying. And uh, so anyway, that's that's like basically one coat. I'll probably do with both bases and both tanks. Probably like. Uh, maybe like five or six coats. You really have to get it on there fairly thick because in the firing, the uh, the thickness, it's it's reduced quite a bit, the thickness of the glaze because it you know, obviously melts. So uh, then we're gonna do these tanks and decided to park out of the way here just to not get any glaze on my car. So, and uh, you gotta be careful of the wind too. If you're, Outside. I don't have a spray booth, so uh, I do all this outside. 
And I spray these with the lids on. We have a yellow jacket here. Let's see if that'll drive them off. Here we go. I just spray these with the lids on because um, right here where it, uh, where the edge of the lid is, uh, where the tank, top of the tank sort of goes up in there, uh, you're not going to have glaze on that section, the very, very top of the tank anyway. So. And then we can rotate this. And uh, you can see the hole where the handle goes. They used to be, uh, I used to just punch out a square like uh, with a human size, but um, now I just wait until the, the greenware clay has dried and then I just use a drill and just drill a hole. That makes it easier. And that way it uh, saves from like deforming the clay. When the clay is uh, greenware, when it's soft and milk chocolatey in texture, you don't want to bend it too much because that can uh, make it warp during firing so so this is bisque wear this has been fired once and then after this glaze is applied we we'll do a, a glaze firing and that will be the the final final firing So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. This gives you sort of an idea of how these are done. And I guess I should put this back over on my chair here. And anyway, make sure to um, like and subscribe, leave any comments below, and we'll see you on the next video.